Hello world, Dr. Porto Dev here. Welcome back for another video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a final look at the Lenovo L340. This is one of my most popular reviewed laptops ever on the channel to date. And it is one of the only laptops that I get questions about on a weekly basis. The top two questions that I get about this laptop are, is it still a good purchase now that it's 2020 and we have 10th generation chips from Intel and also Ryzen 4000 series chips coming from AMD. And also I get a lot of questions um, with buyers on the fence. Do I look at, because um, this is a really budget friendly laptop, it's constantly on sale from multiple retailers and I get questions all the time. Um, should I maybe consider the Lenovo L340 for this price with, a, with the i7 or I see this other laptop from Asus for about the same price, um, maybe even a little bit more expensive, but with an Intel Core i5. So I'm not gonna be going into all the details about this laptop as a whole in terms of what it's like to be an owner and uh, in basically a full review because I've already made that. If you want a full review on this laptop, take a look right now in the link in the video description down below. I'll put my full review video there, um, but just a few all around notes from at this point, being a fairly long-term owner of a Lenovo L340, I can say it's held up pretty well over time with my day-to-day -day use. Um, whether it's productivity, gaming, all of the above, it's performed really well and it hasn't really fallen short for me in any use cases. One note that I will make about the Lenovo L340 is that the thermals aren't all perfect and I did make that clear in my full review video, um, but basically you gotta keep in mind, this laptop, it's not really a full gamer chassis. It's, very, it's a very toned down, minimalistic, business type looking chassis and because of that, it doesn't have as much of the ventilation that we usually get on gaming laptops with vents on the bottom and the, the rear, as well as the sides. This one primarily has ventilation from underneath the chassis and then underneath the screen as well. So to get the performance that I wanted out of my unit, I had to undervolt mine, which is a very simple process, which you can use either Intel XTU or throttle stop. I made a how-to video on that. I'll put a link to that in the description down below as well. Um, but with that quick fix of undervolting, this laptop has really proved to be a great performer over the past few months. Um, but now I wanna answer these questions today um, because they're the ones that I get on a weekly basis. Is this still a good purchase in 2020? I'm gonna say for a couple reasons, yes, if you can find it on a good enough sale or promotion because once again, it all comes down to price versus performance ratio for me. And I've seen this laptop, even like the 17 inch model that I have in front of me here with an i7, GTX 1650, you have your NVMe SSD, all of those features, even as low as around 750 to $800 on sites like eBay um, from super reputable sellers and other storefronts. And with that in mind, I can say this laptop is pretty much a steal for someone looking for a good all-rounder that can also play some games on the side. Now, Lenovo is on the edge of pushing out a refresh of this model, okay? The Lenovo IdeaPad 3 Gaming Edition is coming to market soon. We've seen um, some news in the press over the past few days. They are giving a refresh to the Lenovo L340. It, it's, not, it's not being called the L340 or the L340 2020 or anything like that. It's just called the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 uh, Gaming Laptop, but it, you can definitely tell that it's meant as the true successor to the L340. It has similar looking vibes along the back of the screen with the L340 badging and also very similar specs, however, with 10th generation. Now the huge three selling points for me on what I'm interpreting as the next generation of this laptop are, it's gonna have a 10th generation Intel Core i7 chip, a GTX 1650 Ti, not just a standard 1650, the Ti edition. And it looks like a slightly basically a fully redesigned chassis with slimmer bezels, slightly more of a gaming vibe, however, still refined and mostly black, so it can still be mostly under the radar if you're using it in environments where you don't wanna be taking out a massive flashy red RGB gaming laptop. So should you wait for this newer refresh coming from Lenovo, um, likely sometime this year? I would say it depends. If you need a laptop right now and you can find the L340 on a good deal, which is for the i7 model with the GTX, with the GTX 1650 um, in USD for around 750 or less, I would say that's uh, pretty much a steal for the performance you're getting. Um, so I would say this is definitely not a bad purchase at this point. The L340 is still a great laptop to recommend, but I have my sights set on that next gen IdeaPad 3 gaming from Lenovo. It has um, just a sweet looking chassis, much more updated, modern design. For a person who is using their laptop primarily for gaming, 
I think it's going to be a much better machine, a much better choice over the Lenovo L340. Because that was when I recommended the L340 the most was to users who were doing a lot of multitasking all around work with productivity, schoolwork, but then they also wanted to game on the side a little bit. Previously for comparing this model with like another gaming laptop from Asus or, or um, Acer, for example, with even a lower processor like an i5, because you don't really need an i7 for gaming. Um, I would recommend some users, okay, um, look at that other model with an i5 because your primary use case is gaming. Um, but really, when it comes down to it, this newer model, the IdeaPad 3 gaming, uh, it's looking pretty sweet. If you can wait, if you don't need a laptop right now, if you're okay waiting until maybe end of year, um, because these laptops are going to be hard to get for a while, um, I'm going to say it, it could definitely be worth waiting um, for the next generation. But overall, um, the Lenovo L340 has been a great laptop. It's served me well. And um, pretty much in most games, especially competitive ones, this laptop can, at, you know, of course, adjusted medium settings, things like that, and tweaked out, you can get about 60 FPS. So you can have a good gameplay experience with the GTX 1650. Um, but again, it all comes down to, do you need a laptop now? Um, how badly do you need it? Are you willing to wait? Um, I would say, if I was in the market and I didn't need a laptop right now, I'd probably wait for the next gen IdeaPad 3 gaming. The GTX 1650 Ti, the 10th generation Intel Core i7 chip, and the new updated chassis, I think is worth the wait. So unless you need a laptop now, and you know you could find this on a good deal, which is when I can recommend it, I would say hang on tight and wait for that next generation uh, refresh to come out from Lenovo. So please like this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you want to see more. Take a look in the video description down below for links to my social media handles and my Discord server. Thanks again for watching. Dot Dev out.